hi, Gang T Call here, and Happy New Year to you. Please be safe out there tonight, and、uh, you know, every night, if you would please. <laughs> Anyway, it is a new year, and we have a new kingdom in the game starting today, January first, two thousand twenty-four. Midnight has come into the game. Broken Spire is where we start the game, and it's just down、uh, to the right of Zolkari here.、Um, you can get trips for midnight without. Completing the storyline, I all I did was unlock it. I haven't done the quest yet. Gonna save that for hopefully a live stream. But、uh, you can go in and you can use your event keys to get the troops there. However, I don't recommend using more than fifty keys at at once. Luckily, this is my beta account. I was not thinking about it. I used two hundred keys, and <laughs> there are only five troops available right now, y'all. Five. F I V E five. Oh my gosh! So let me show you what you can get with your event keys right now. That is the wrong button. I'm going to go here. Let me sort this by owned, and also I'll sort them by base rarity because that's what I do. <laughs> As you can see, with my 200 keys, I got 144 copies of the co common. I got five of the legendary.、Uh, <laughs> look at these totals. You know you can, you can spend two hundred keys, but you know you might want to wait until some more <laughs> troops are available before you do that. Anyway, I digress. The Midnight Queen, she is going to convert all red gems to purple and all blue gems to doom skulls. Love that. Inflict terror on the strongest enemy, and if you have missed what terror does, it scares the troop that that、uh, it takes effect on. So. For instance, you inflict death mark on somebody; they have a percentage chance. Actually,、uh, actually, it does not. Okay, it doesn't even say here what terror does. <laughs> it just says what. Oh my gosh! Seriously, devs, this is my fault. This it's not really my fault. But if I had been paying more attention in the beta, I could have given them some feedback and said, "Hey, you should mention what terror does." <sighs> anyway. Terror is going to have a possibility of taking effect. If it takes effect, it will move that troop down one slot. So if you have one in the second slot here, it has terror on it, and it takes effect, it will move down one slot. If it is in the bottom slot when terror takes effect, it's going to run away. So it's as if you killed it. It's running away. I mean, it's it's different, but same effect. It's gone. So、um, you know. Anyway, she inflicts terror on a random enemy when four, matching four plus gems. That's actually, it's interesting.、Um, the problem is that if you're getting a ton of match fours, every time it applies, it's resetting the timer on the effect. Just like with death mark, it's not going to take effect the first turn. So if you keep reapplying it, the timer starts over, and it's never going to take effect. So with this troop, you don't actually want to have a ton of match fours. <sighs> But she's immune herself to terror, which is nice.、Uh, next up, we have Fair. Fair.、Hmm. She is going to do thirty-six. Or sorry, that's my my match. She's going to do damage to an enemy if they are if they have terror. She's going to do double damage, and then she's going to inflict terror. We have plenty of Of troops like this in the game, just with different status effects.、Uh, she has skull damage reduction by twenty five percent, and she's got that magic link, which is super nice. Bonus purple man mana from purple gem matches. Next, we have the Bone Hound. This is going to create nine skulls and summon a Bone Hound. Period. Even if they are webbed, the magic does not matter at all. It's still going to do all of this because nothing is purple on the card. It's not affected by your magic level. Inflict terror when I match skull, so that's hitting the top troop. You can mess up the order of the enemy team that way. Summon a bone storm at the start of battle and inflict death mark as well when doing skull damage. So two different ways to mess up the enemy team. One insta kill. Second is moving them down a slot if that terror takes effect. Third, we have this is fourth actually the demon child. I love this artwork so much; <laughs> it makes me so happy. Anyway, create seven blue gems boosted by terrified enemies. You can get a max of an additional eight gems because it is two per enemy with terror.
She also is going to inflict terror when she matches skulls and um, yeah, the rest of those. Lastly, the common is Lost Hunter, inflict damage to an enemy and, or deal damage to an enemy and inflict terror. And Hunter's Mark on enemies when doing skull damage, that's actually really nice for a common. And 50% chance to ignore armor with skull damage, that is actually excellent for a, um, what, common? for a common. That's amazing. That's so... Uh, 50% chance to do true damage with skulls. So, and the Hunter's Mark, that's actually incredibly strong. I'm very impressed that they would give us this as a common. Anyway, this is all we have available from our event keys. And I imagine, well, let me just go check, that is also, it's got to be also from just regular keys too. This is my beta account. I'll just go ahead and blow 200 keys. Maybe I'll blow 400. I should not get anything new out of this um, because I used my event keys. I used 200 of them. If there was anything else available, it would have shown up um, considering that I got there are only five cards in the drop table and I got multiples of each. So there are other, there are other troops but they are locked to the, what's this called, Kingdom Pass event. Two of them only are money bl blocked. The others are time blocked or gem blocked at this point. So the other troops that you're going to be able to get are, and yes, I, I passed by the mon money lock stuff. I'll go over the money lock stuff um, in a minute. So the other troops that you can get on the free side are the Half Demon Knight, destroy a column, inflict terror on an enemy for each blue gem destroyed and uh, gain barrier, inflict terror when matching skulls, this seems to be a theme. Then we have, da, 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 da. oh, I love the artwork on her too, Lady of Bones, convert all brown, brown gems to skulls and give armor to whichever ally you prefer. Also, it's an empowered skull converter, so yay for that. I do like my empowered troops. I just don't like fighting them in Guild Wars. <laughs> all right. Next up, yes, I'm going to go over the money lock stuff. But right now, this is all the free stuff. But they are gem blocked and time blocked at the moment. You don't have to spend any gems on this this side. You just have to be sure and get your 10 battle crashers every day if you want to get all the stuff on the left for free. So the free weapon is going to do its hands of time, deal heavy splash damage to an enemy. That information on heavy and life is over here. Splash damage to an enemy, deal 38 light splash damage to a random enemy. And um, yeah, that's it. So for the money lock stuff, we have this weapon, the temporal scythe. This is going to do damage to all enemies. And if an enemy dies, convert all red gems to the yellow hourglass gems. Could be good in certain situations. It uses the same colors as Life and Death and a few others. Like Black it uses the same mana colors as Black Manacles. So I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, next, oh, and the pet. The, the pet. If you want to max it out, you have to get the paid side. But you're going to get free copies of this guy. He, uh, he gives a midnight team bonus, uh, the Bone Puppy. And uh, back to the money lock stuff. There are two more money locked here. And they are the tarot card, the queen of wands. Three magic to all allies, which is actually really good if she loops and just keeps giving all of this magic to your allies. She could be very powerful on the right team. Uh, you know, not like the emperor or the empress, perhaps, but we'll see. One magic to all allies when matching four plus gems. Now that's very nice, actually. Huh. We'll see. We'll see uh, what kind of things come up when people start experimenting with this troop. The other money locked troop is, of course, our Battle Crasher, the one that I think looks a little bit like Joe Walsh. Uh, he inflicts terror on the two weakest enemies, then deals damage boosted by mystic allies and summons a midnight troop. He also summons a Dark Storm at the start of battle, reflects 25% of skull damage, and gives three attack to all mystic allies when matching purple gems. Interesting. Okay, 
that is that. Now, I have not looked at the trials because I haven't done the quests yet, but we only... I mean, I can't see what the can't see what the team is that we get to use. I'm sorry, I can't go over that right now. Like I said, hopefully I'll be able to do a live stream later. All right, what's next? Hold on a second. We have the guild event, the Tower of Doom this week. I do want to point out that this new weapon, you have to use this to get two times the dooms destroyed in the Tower of Doom event for this time around. You have to use it, but you only have to use it in the boss rooms. You don't have to use it in every room, but I can't remember to switch it back and forth, so I just use the darned weapon. Anyway, you can get this weapon in the shop here. It is in the Soul Forge, but don't waste your your diamonds when you can get it for gems, especially if you're doing this event anyway. <coughs> Sorry, I'll be buying all of the tiers. So uh, anyway, this is going to give magic to all allies. Uh, plus one per tempering uh, level. Give armor to red allies, and if the enemy has doom, gain 10 attack. So um, yeah, I mean... If you're doing the Tower of Doom event, you're going to have all red allies, so... Uh, anyway, I do love the Tower of Doom. Just remember, don't craft that with your diamonds when you can get it in the event shop. Alright, next up... Oh, all the holidays! Holidays! Um, get this stuff for free today. Uh, go ahead and grab it, even though uh, this is my beta account, and this is all going to go away at some point. <laughs> Uh, also, if you don't have a ton of event keys to spare, or if you don't have any event keys to spare to get these new troops, you can get them with your gem keys, with your glory chests, also with your um, guild seals. You can get them all. However, remember that we have Mythic Friday coming up. Let me show you what the new troop is. Hold on. All right, the new troop is Mandragora from Zulkari. This guy, let me blow this up so we can actually see it some. Whoops. Nee, 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 nee. Wah! The original web hosting service. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to do scatter damage boosted by webbed enemies and create 10 purple gems. Uh, every webbed enemy will give you an additional 10 scatter damage. And, you know, scatter damage really isn't that powerful. I just don't see this as being... A great spell. Uh, bark skin reduced damage from skulls by 33%. Magic link gain bonus purple mana from purple gem matches. And web a random enemy when matching purple gems. This really doesn't seem like a mythic to me, y'all. This does not seem mythic worthy at all to me. However, I have to have it because it's shiny new and I must have all new troops. So, <laughs> you know. Anyway, you can weigh, weigh your options. What's more important? Do you want to save up keys for the new Mythic on Friday, whether you like the idea of it or not, or do you want to get the new troops? Um, you know, I have plenty of event keys because I've been saving them for quite a while, but um, if you don't and you really want to get those troops, I can see spending some some resources at trying to get the I mean, I, I the myth uh, legendary i mean you know she creates doom skulls i have to have that oh yes yes indeed <laughs> all right since we have a new kingdom things are going to look a little different this week than we're used to let's go over the events that are coming up um on wednesday we have the scare bear he's so cute i love him i can't wait to get him in my in my grubby little paws um <laughs> On Tuesday, though, we don't have the new faction. That is not coming up for a little bit yet. We have Fire Rift on Tuesday. On Wednesday, the Pet Rescue. On Thursday, we do not have a class trial on Thursday because the class trial is going to be our weekend event. Uh, let me tell you about the new class. Hold on a second. Let me grab that info. The new class is called Nightweaver. Love this artwork. Um, so, we have Rising Shadows, love that. Um, Rising Shadows is insta-kill sometimes. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll go over all of this this coming weekend, but as far as the traits go, 
Allied Mystics gain two life, gain one magic when an ally casts a spell every time you cast a spell. Interesting. And uh, give two magic to all Mystic allies when matching purple. Wow, this is very skull-based so far for the troops I've seen. But we're all Mystics. And so you become a Mystic, obviously. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, I'm sorry, my mind is just kind of bouncing all over the place here. Uh, and the class weapon deal magic plus four enemy to, sorry, damage to an enemy, then curse and inflict terror to all enemies above them. So it's working like Lan and Shi as far as that goes. You hit the bottom troop and hit everything above it to, to uh, just weird, just weird. I don't get it. We'll see. <sighs> anyway, we have... <laughs> Is that enough? Let's see what else we've got here. Uh, that is the wrong button. My bad. My bad. I forget where this new, where everything is in this new setup. Events. Events. Uh, we do not have a campaign. Campaign is not going on right now. Midnight troop. Yep. Er, <laughs> I love this. I want this troop. It's so pretty. Uh, power of this. Oh, mm, spirit of giving is over. But um, you should be able to spend your golden currency at this point. Um, da -dum -dum -da. So you can get 10 holiday greetings or you can get one gem key with your golden uh, whatever it is if you didn't use it yet. Also, uh, let's see, midnight troops gain 10% to their skills and undead gain 10% to their skills. And then if you take the... Okay, so the Bone Hound is the... Oh my gosh, I, for, I sorry, I <laughs> forgot to go over a bunch of stuff. Our Glory Troop, um, use it in PvP and or explore to gain 40 extra souls per battle. Uh, so let's go into the shop, because I forgot. Resources, Spoils of War, you can get 10 event keys right here for 1800 Glory. Hopefully you have that much. That will help a lot. <laughs> 10 keys is better than no keys. Also, weekly event, the Bone Hound is going to give you Arcane Beast trait stones and all the lovely things. I always like to get this up to um, Mythic level, but it's already at Mythic level because I accidentally used so many keys. But I recommend using any event keys that you're going to use before uh, coming in here to get this, unless you really need the gold and the, uh, the trait stones. So... Yeah, kind of hard to miss the Bone Hound this week. <laughs> the Glory Troop, I mean. Ah, Adventure Board, nothing much on here for today. And then as far as the Underspire goes, let's go ahead and check this out. I have to cough. Okay. Um, yeah, we should only have those five troops available. Yep. That's it. All right, I think I've remembered to go over everything i'll have a separate video for you for the tower of doom and for the soul forge uh, i hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be let me know your thoughts in the comments below we'll talk to you folks soon Bye bye